Listen everybody To the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. This is broadcast number 199. First up today, Hezbollah leader threatens to transform Israeli lives into hell. According to the Times of Israel, the leader of the Lebanese Shiite terrorist group said they will transform the lives of hundreds of thousands of Israelis to hell if Israel attacks Lebanon. Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah said that the group has a list of Israeli targets that it can hit with few rockets. He said a small number of precisely fired missiles on carefully selected targets could transform the lives of millions of Zionists in occupied Palestine to a real hell and spoke of tens of thousands of Israeli fatalities. Second today, Pastor Youssef Nadakani is hit with new charges in Iran. According to persecution.org, Pastor Youssef Nadakani, a Christian pastor, has been accused of apostasy and will be put on a new trial on August the 27th. Nadakani, who refused to repent, from being a Christian in earlier judicial proceedings and faces a death sentence is now facing the new charges of banditry and extortion. The new charges raise concern that following widespread international criticism, Iranian authorities wish to influence the case by bringing up arbitrary charges. The new trial adds to these concerns. Uh, Thirdly, today, rather, a typhoon kills four people and causes flooding in Vietnam. According to Agency France Press, at least four people died as Typhoon Katak barreled across northern Vietnam, bringing high winds and floods to several areas, including Uh, the capital, Hanoi. The typhoon which made landfall this weekend was downgraded to a tropical depression on Saturday but continued to dump water on already flooded parts of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 10 verses 17 through 18, But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, and for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. Now, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, May I encourage you to get to know him today. To do so, please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws at some point in your life, just as I have. 
However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you, and he does not want you to be separated from him forever. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us. God showed his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, my sins, and the sins of the whole world, all you have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell, but you will live eternally in heaven with God. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation today, right now, please pray with me this simple prayer. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please pardon me. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. If you just trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior, dear friend, and you prayed that prayer and meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, you are now saved and you are on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God. I want to congratulate you on doing the most important thing in life, and that is receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty-four forty-two. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty-four forty-four says, Therefore be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. You got to get your